Every year, the American Psychiatric Association puts on a conference which brings psychiatric doctors, medical students interested in psychiatry, and other personnel together to learn about psychiatry, share ideas, and keep up to date of the current and most recent treatment modalities available. This year, the conference was held in San Francisco. San Francisco is about 100 miles away from where I live in Sacramento, so I decided to make the trip this year, and in this video, I'll share my experience and some of the stuff I learned along the way. The first lecture I attended aimed to address the religion and spirituality and mental health. And I found it validating that I was not the only person to think that living with a life of Christ or investigating that aspect would be incredibly important. And they made some interesting points that psychological theories and psychiatric theories are more based on observation, while the spiritual life is much more based on experience. And it's really important to be in tune with one's spirituality because growing up, that really helps shape one's values, their attitude, their sexual orientation, the purpose of marriage, and it helps assess whether they're involved with their community or not. After that lecture, I veer out toward the exhibit hall, and as you can see, it's quite amazing how many psychiatrists or people interested in the profession or work in psychiatric field are here to attend the meeting. The next lecture I attended was quite popular. It's called Food, Mood, and Microbes. And basically what the lecturers were saying is how food affects the bacteria that's in the gut, which in turn can affect all these biochemical pathways that can affect one's mental health. It can affect how they breathe, their digestive system. They're really trying to reiterate that eating healthy fermented foods like yogurt, fresh foods like vegetable, fruits, um, try to minimize sugars and sweeteners to the diet because that can really play an important role in mental health. They even gave examples of elimination diets. For example, eliminating certain foods from the diet actually they found was to be helpful for, treat ADHD and also symptoms of anxiety or depression. The next lesson I attended was more of a panel of psychiatrists who successfully built an app and they were just going to some of the technical aspects of it, some of the challenges they faced. Not sure I have any brilliant app ideas at this moment, but it was interesting to listen to. That was most of what I was able to see on day one. After that, I returned home to Sacramento for some stuff that I had going on, but I did return to the conference on Monday and I'll let you know how that experience was in just a moment. The first lecture I attended for the day was about patients wearing sensors that would detect whether or not they took the medication. I didn't think this was very practical nor helpful, so I left early and attended another lecture, which was about positive psychiatry. Here is a quote from Pope John Paul II about how work is good for humanity and helps transform humanity's nature and helps provide meaning for one's life. This talk also helped to emphasize the importance of focusing on people's character strengths, as well as helping them with their thoughts and emotions. The lecturers also suggested that doing good deeds may be more beneficial than cognitive behavioral therapy, then it may be worthwhile prescribing acts of kindness, quality conversations, or social connections. Then I attended another panel which essentially described which companies they look to invest in, and one of the common themes that came across was constitutes a good provider versus not a good one. And then also what sort of resources do patients have when they're not in the doctor's setting? Because at least in mental health, that seems to be a big need that has not yet been addressed. The next lecture was really interesting about psychiatrists had already made it pretty big and YouTube or Instagram or TikTok. And they're describing their path and how to do it. At the end of the day, I was one of several psychiatrists who got a reward by being a member of the APA, being a board certified psychiatrist. And then at the end of the day, I attended a dinner with the Christian Psychiatric Association. They were giving a talk that helped to emphasize the biological, psychological, and spiritual approach, as well as recommend certain lifestyle changes that might help patients 
as other means to treat besides just medications or therapy techniques. And that was about a day and a half of the psychiatric conference. It's a five-day conference that's done once a year. And that's what it's like to be a psychiatrist at that conference. Mm -hmm.